What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's Energy. I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's reading, I'm going to be looking at what is the universe trying to tell you? Okay, a lot of you are overlooking communication and how the universe truly communicates. So in this reading, I'm going to be looking at what is the universe trying to tell you exactly right now with where you are. So if you're seeing this video, it's a timeless video. It doesn't matter what time you see it. It just simply means that this is a message you were meant to hear. The first thing to note when it comes to spirituality is that nothing is a coincidence. When you adopt this mindset, you will understand that the entire universe is communicating with you. So I'm going to be channeling that message and seeing what is the universe trying to tell you exactly in this moment. Also, if you guys are part of the Chosen 111, I just dropped a rare reading on the tarotchest.com. There's only 111 of them. If you guys are part of the notification squad, you guys will see that I'm giving away three readings to whoever unlocks that last reading. So if you guys ever want to partake in anything that I have going on, just always check the description box for readings. I only have one link for readings. Everything that I'm doing is either going to be on the display screen or in the description. Okay. I want you guys to really use your discernment when it comes to booking a reading and that you guys need, you'll find it down below. All right. I'm excited to get into this reading. I'm going to start switching up the rotation here pretty soon. So I'm really starting to get more inspired about that. So let's jump into the first reading and see what the universe wants you to know. Card one, let's see what the universe is trying to tell you. So let's look at the first four cards and look at the circumstances that you're currently in. And then I'm gonna pull four more cards to clarify those to just see what is the universe trying to tell you. All right, card one, card one, card one. What is the universe trying to tell card one? Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Card one. There's a little bit of feeling depleted or I'm getting that or burnout or maybe preventing it before it happens. All right, so I have a major arcana on the board, which is Pisces energy. All right, so yeah, I'm definitely feeling a sense of with the strength Leo energy on the bottom. I'm just sensing a sense of ease that is going to be coming in your life very soon. I feel like the universe is trying to tell you, I'm trying to bring ease into your life. I'm trying to make things easier for you. There are some things that you cannot see that I can, and I'm trying to communicate them to you. All right. Some of you guys could be an artist here or desire to express yourself or... Once again, with the nine of cups in reverse, this is telling me that you're going in the opposite direction of what you truly desire and truly love here. So we have a little bit of conflict here with the nine of wands and the seven of wands. All right. I'm also hearing that there is a lot being uncovered right now in your life. Anytime the moon comes out, it comes out in the darkest times or dark moments or dark circumstances. Things are being illuminated right now. The moon, things are being uncovered, okay? The universe is saying, it's okay to let me in. What does that mean? That means when you let God in, you're basically saying, okay, God, I hear you, which means speak truth. Literally, you're asking, for the truth here. And so I'm seeing that things are actually being um, revealed and uncovered right now in your life. There is an easier path I'm hearing for you. We have strength again at the bottom of this deck. All right. So the biggest thing I see, I have a lot of Leo energy here. If you're a Leo, a lot of strength and courage and bravery you are actually collecting right now. It's like a video game. You're collecting all these things for this next chapter. You're going to need bravery. You're going to need courage to face some of these things that are being uncovered in your life and understand that this is coming from a higher place. The truth is literally the closest thing I can say to what God or the universe's voice sounds like. Because the universe doesn't have a mouth, doesn't have a hand, God, whatever you believe in. Okay, so to get these communication or messages to you, it is going to happen in a very synchronized way, all right? This isn't logical. This communication is going to come from your gut. It's going to be a feeling. But I'm hearing spirit say, hey, you have the strength to do this, whatever this is. I'm hearing for some of you being on your own, stability, um, not having to depend on anyone, 
to, to do what you love. There hasn't been a lot of focus on love. I want to clarify, we have the strength card here. Okay, look at that. Not a lot of focus on love. I pull up the card, four of wands. Okay, there could be someone around you or someone near that actually truly does love you is what I'm getting. Okay, so that could be being revealed as well, who truly loves you. But my biggest thing here is what the universe is trying to tell you. The Knight of Cups is in reverse. This is like our emotional fulfillment. The Knight of Cups is like, yeah, I'm going towards it. It's in reverse. I want to know why is this in reverse for card one? Thank you. Judgment in reverse. Card one, little stubbornness I'm feeling. Okay, <laughs> spirit. Spirit is saying judgment is like my spiritual awakening card. This is literally God trying to call you on the phone. So it's like a check engine light that you could be ignoring. And spirit is like, I'm your friend. I'm guiding you. I know sometimes the truth may sting your ego. Okay, the truth sets your spirit free. It only hurts your ego. Especially if you're not in a place to listen is what I'm hearing. The universe is saying, listen, I'm with you. I'm giving you strength in this moment. I'm giving you clarity. You could be overlooking it because you have a lot going on here with the seven of wands. Judgment in reverse. There's something you're not seeing here. There's something you're not seeing. What is it that they're not seeing? Look at this at the bottom of the deck. We have the five of cups, not one of my favorite cards. Okay, usually a breakup card, usually having to walk away, maybe take your own path. Okay, maybe just being disappointed in things that you thought were going to work out that didn't with the five of cups. There's a lot to talk about here, card one, because I can get into that. I can get into that. And it's like you're digging into like, why is this happening and and where is this coming from? And it's like spirit is just saying, let more joy into your life. Do more things that are nourishing to your soul joy, laughter, lack of seriousness, okay? Why is judgment in reverse? Five of cups, regret, not wanting to regret a decision, so not making a decision, maybe, but not being able to move forward because of this. Spirit, what do you want them to know? Why are they here? You have a message for them? The chariot, another major arcana, cancer energy, you could be one, you don't have to be. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Something is actually moving forward that you are not able to see because you are, this would be the crying over spilled milk card because you see this is spilled, but there is still one cup left that you're overlooking. You're not able to see because maybe you're focused on things that are not working out or didn't work out. Focus on feeling good, what feels good to you so that you can pick up your, it's like spirit is saying, pick up your vibration so I can catapult you into a new destination. Are you an artist? Do you love music? Are you connected to music? If you love music, spirit communicates through songs, through messages. So if certain words stand out, almost like someone is saying it to you, this is usually when it's the universe and that's fun as well. We have the three of water, a celebration, a wedding, graduation, a birth announcement, the need to have more fun. Just said this, literally, okay? Celebrating, having fun, allowing pleasure to come. This is annoying, all of the rhyming. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you could be a poet. It's like your spirit is like wanting to just express itself, wanting to just break free and have fun. Just, just, and what is fun? is just feeling good and not being worried or stressed. How about we just start there, not being worried or stressed. What is it that they're focusing on here with this five of cups? Why is this here? Things are moving forward. You're not able to see it. What is it moving forward? You're moving towards a celebration. You're moving towards looking back saying, thank you, I made it. Thank you, I didn't go that way. Thank you, universe. You're gonna be thanking the universe. You really are because you don't see all of what's coming. I have public recognition. I have some type of success coming to you, some type of opportunity coming. We have forgiveness and compassion, release harsh judgments, okay? So judging yourself um, on decisions you're making, if wanting to have fun, wanting to, yeah, there's a lot here, card one. The universe wants you to know. Yes, there is. I see why I'm doing this reading. I see. All right, spirit, future self, what do you want them to know? What are you trying to tell them? 
So we're, we're going to get a text message from your future self. To feel good is to feel God. Okay, I've been saying this a lot in my readings, and I guess maybe you guys aren't taking it as literal, but literally, when you feel God, you should be feeling good. When you feel good, you're feeling God. So if you're feeling harsh judgments about yourself and you're feeling bad, that is not the voice of the universe. That is not my voice, the <laughs> Spirit is saying. My voice is comforting. My voice is inspiring. My voice will excite you. My voice will propel you. My voice is truth, so you'll feel it, okay? No, you're learning how to distinguish the difference in your voice, the universe, right? Because there's a lot of thoughts going on, and I'm, I'm sensing there's a sense of ease and peace, distractions. Damn, another major arcana. We have balance, Okay, so we have temperance here. You could be a Sagittarius. So this is a very big spiritual pivotal shift in your life right now. What's happening is spirit is revealing some truths that maybe you've kind of pushed to the back or avoided and understanding that the truth is going to set you free. It's going to give you peace. All right, we have balance here. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. All right, so if you have to make it happen and create this plan, that is not my voice, Spirit is saying. The universe is not communicating, God is not communicating with you through logic. Logic and strategy belongs to your mentality, your mind. And your mind is simply a tool, right? You have a phone, your phone, you don't think you're your phone. I've been saying this a lot. So why do you think you're your mind? This is why people have these affirmations. You are not your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. What good is an affirmation if you still think you're your mind? Your mind is a tool, but you keep listening to everything it's saying and understand it's limited. And spirit is trying to come in and give you a sense of ease and certainty that your destiny for success and love is already written in the stars, card one. This is what I'm hearing. So when you feel good, it's a confirmation that you feel God. So God is good, literally. God is literally the energy of good. So follow what feels good, not what feels right. Ooh, that's deep. People think, oh, I'm doing this because it's the right thing. It's only right if it feels good. Otherwise, you're not doing it from an authentic place. All right? It doesn't matter what's right. Right and wrong belong to the ego. Anytime you're following truth, you'll always be right. But once again, what does it matter to be right? All right, there's a lot you're learning here. Spirit, truth, it's actually guiding you. All right, and there's not much for you to do. Two of cups at the bottom of the card, at the bottom of the deck here. So I'm sensing you could be dealing with a breakup or trying to figure out what you want to do in a relationship that you're currently in, all right? Or if you're not in a relationship, you could be dealing with a situationship. Either way, there is a soulmate that is in your energy field. And I, I only see this aligning when you're aligned with your emotions of feeling good. With the Knight of Cups here, there's a lot going on in your life, actually. I only want to pull one more card because I don't need much to tell you what the universe wants you to know. Follow what brings you inspiration. Literally just said that. Here's the spirit again. There's like a coming back to self moment that I'm seeing happening for you. This is actually attracting um, a soulmate partnerships in your life, connecting with people. Because again, the energy that you're in, if you're exhausted with the Knight of Wands, let's clarify why the Knight of Wands is here. All right. Yeah, Six of Swords. Just moving forward from the way that you used to think, because it's, it's once again, it's about feeling good. It's about being in joy. And I'm just sensing, if you guys haven't already, check out the tarotchest.com. Check out down below for any of my mentorships. If you guys really want guidance on understanding this entity that you cannot see with your physical eyes guiding you, if you want that, you can find that down below. So following what brings you inspiration is actually going to be bringing you to a space of more love and more peace and more happiness in your life. 
Okay, because you're inviting in a different energy other than trauma, depression, not working out, disappointment, um, judgment, just whatever it may be. Okay, spirit, what else do you want them to know before we close? If you're here for card number one, what is it that you want them to know? So you're moving towards celebration. Spirit is saying, I'm trying to guide you through ease. You'll know it's my voice when it sounds like support. Okay, I'm guiding you through truth. All right, come back to yourself. Your answers are within and how you feel is more important than you think. It's guiding you. All right, let's see what spirit has to say. Hope, yeah. Hope, hope, hope. Spirit wants to give you hope today. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectation, ex expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. So for those of you who may think it's out of your control, you're actually in more authority than you know. Focus on what you want to happen and know that it has already happened because it has. All right. And I know that's a lot to explain in this moment, but I'm just sensing here with the rainbow. It's already worked out. Take a step back and let spirit review, reveal the truth of the situation so that you can see where your destination is. So you can see where you're going. There's got to be more. Uh, a more strength in your connection with the universe to guide you so that when you're going through the unknown, you can really allow yourself to be guided. Precious time. This fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others either. So set people free who need to be set free with your truth. Speak your truth. So people can be set free here so you can be on your path. All right. Your path to love is what I'm picking up here. And also, you're just meant to really be in the life of the party. You're meant to be around, like, very up energetics energy. This is actually going to help you propel towards what you desire even more. Rather than being in familiar energy that you were once comfortable with, that is not no longer serving you. All right? So, so all in all, what I'm seeing is that to be patient for the perfect timing and to trust and know that... You are being guided out of situations that no longer serve you, that no longer feel good, whether it's the way you think, the people that you have around you, your relationships, the way you eat. There are many things that are changing right now and many things being uncovered. Just simply be open to truth and being honest with you is what I'm hearing. You being honest with you is like, okay, okay, God, what are you, what are you saying? Like you really have to be honest. Honesty, truth is spirituality. It's, it's the literal core of it. It's the light. You shed the light. And so this is what's going to bring you freedom. And it's actually going to work out better than you think. And that's why you can't think because your thinking is limited. This is what I'm hearing from the universe. All right, I'm moving on to card two. What's good, card two? Okay, if you guys were drawn to this card, let's see what the universe is trying to tell you. So I'm first going to be looking at your energy, your current energy, where you are. We'll see what comes out. This is going to determine where to focus my channeling. All right, I'm already getting the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Not to worry about your finances, to be open to sharing. Okay, card two. All right, let's just see what's good with card two. Queen of wands. Yes, of course. You are a creator, okay? Right now, there, you are forging a whole new path in perspective when it comes to what you are here to do, okay? Creating is something at the core of what you're here to do, creating, all right? That could be creating anything. And if anything, creating your own reality, which is really deciding on which reality you want to live. Because, yeah, it gets deep, but we'll leave it there. Six of Cups, all right? Let's see what else is here, okay? We have some nostalgic energy here. Looking back, all right, I'm definitely sensing there's gonna be a lot of moments that are coming up around your childhood to remind you of when you were your most freest, when you were having the most fun. There's something about bringing more of this energy in to prepare you for the life that is going to begin. All right, let's see what these last two cards are. The lovers and the Page of Swords, all right? So some of you are definitely preparing for a relationship, Three of Cups, yeah. You're preparing for a long-term partnership, let's just say that, a partnership that is going to last for some time. Um, it's more so of love that's gonna last for some time. It's not really about the relationship or the partnership that I'm picking up. You definitely have 
someone that you are attracting, all right? Now, if you are currently in a relationship and you are desiring love, all right, you can still manifest that outside of your relationship. You cannot, your soul cannot lie. Your desires cannot lie. And if you're not getting, and you're not, if they're not being met or you're not receiving them, what will happen is you will start manifesting what you truly desire. That's how much the universe is working in your favor to always work towards what you desire. So it's very important that you're honest with yourself is what I'm getting. I just talked about this in card one. Being honest with yourself is literally like saying, okay, God, I hear you. Truth is literally spirituality. The closest thing that you're going to get to what it sounds like when God is communicating with you, when your guides are communicating with you, it's coming through a space of truth. Some type of truth is coming in when it comes to your career, what you're here to do. Your creations will pave the way is what I'm hearing. You have so many creations. Share them, whether it's your knowledge, whether it's your wisdom, whether it's you. All right. I'm definitely seeing a lot of fire energy here. So a lot more confidence is coming to you. So the universe wants you to know that there's some type of partnership that is being prepared on the horizons. I'm hearing connections in your business, like people around you where there's money flowing in. And I also see in your love life. All right. In your love life, you have a huge shift coming in here. All right. Let's see universe. What are you trying to tell card two with queen of wands? All right, eight of earth. So we have a lot of pentacle energy. You could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You don't have to be, but I'm just sensing a lot of earthly energy, which means you could be focusing a lot on your career right now, your stability, um, survival, like where you're going to live, where do you want to live. And I just sense here that you have learned enough to... Like, you're ready is what I'm hearing. The universe wants you to know you have enough skills, enough talent right now um, to do what it is that you want to do. We have going back to school, learning all there is to know about a topic, skilled reward is rewarded. So you're very skilled at what you do, but I'm definitely seeing that when it comes to your passions, what you love to do. Okay, a lot of you may be saying, okay, I'm going to do this business to get this to get this so that I can do this. Let's go ahead and just skip all the middle part because that's not our job anyway. That's the universe making it happen. And just focus on what you truly desire as if it's here now. Unless, of course, you want to wait for your desires. Because this is what I'm getting here. If you're wondering what is the holdup, it is definitely not the universe. It is certainly you. Okay, card two. And this, what this means is just being open to guidance outside of yourself from a higher perspective that you might not know the details of how things are going to work out. That's not for you to know because you're not working them out unless you want that job. So I'm also hearing don't do no longer. You're no longer doing what you don't want to do just because it's a job. You can only do that for so long before your soul starts to really feel like vacant right? Nourishing your soul is what I'm hearing. Doing what you love, what fires you up. When you're getting out of bed, what feels exhilarating? Some of you may just be thinking about a routine or what you have to get done, but I'm sensing spirits say that you are shifting into more love. Love is the overall factor I'm getting with the lovers in reverse and the page of swords and the three of cups. I see a lot of love situations here, all right? So regardless of your connection let's just get a message when it comes to their love because that's here look at this the lovers again i can't make it up this is the universe bringing two people together this is something you cannot stop it's divine so it's like if it's meant for you you wouldn't be worried you shouldn't be worried you shouldn't be concerned you shouldn't be stressed right because what's meant for you is meant for you so why would you chase it if you're chasing it, it's a sign that you don't believe it's meant for you. What's meant for you here is intimate relationships. It says carefully weigh your decisions in good health. What's most important is that you are in love, in love with your life, in love with yourself as the queen of wands. You being in love with yourself, I'm sensing this is what the universe is trying to tell you. Hey, you are the queen of wands. You are someone who has a lot of compassion for what you create. There are certain things that you create, whether it's words, sounds, vibrations, it doesn't matter. Everything is creation. And this actually is what you're here to do. I'm hearing you are very skilled at this. And even if you go back to school, go 
They're saying go to school, go to a course because you're excited, you're inspired, not because you feel like you have to learn this to do that. All right, it's like following your excitement and inspiration is following your higher self, following what you think and what you map out and what you plan based on your logic and strategy is leaving no room for the universe to come in. So this is where things are gonna just, they're gonna happen just because they're meant to happen. You are meant to meet a lover, okay? Someone who matches your energy. You're meant to fall in love in this lifetime, whether you have or you haven't. That is something that is part of, of your destiny, okay? So why do I have the lovers in reverse here? Because anyone else would just be a lesson if it wasn't, if it wasn't this person, right? And so it's like, you can still get into relationships and end them because you know that they're not aligned quietly, but you're in love, or you can just be patient for the right one to come. The one where you didn't have to go out and get, it just landed in your lap. Kind of like this video or how you found me or how anything amazing happens, it just lands there. And that's not, that's the universe delivering it, but we're allowing it. We're allowing the, the delivery to happen because we're not out there trying to deliver it ourselves. So it's like, let the universe in is what the universe is saying here. Look at this, four of wands. You're meant to literally meet your person. We have the six of wands also with the marriage card. So you are meant to be in love. So whether you're with this person already or not, that's up to you to decide. You are meant to be in love, all right? Like a movie is what I'm hearing, like a rom-com because this love actually inspires you. Love inspires you and then you create and you're a creator. It actually is an, it's aligned with who you are, okay? So love, being in love with yourself is a big thing that's happening right now, you loving more of yourself. What does that mean? Loving yourself enough to say no, not doing things out of guilt because then you're compromising yourself. Someone still, someone's still gonna feel bad whether you, you feel bad for them, you're gonna have to feel bad for you later. So who would you rather feel bad for? And you have to choose yourself. Choosing yourself will teach others how to also choose them, their selves, okay? So I'm, I'm sensing a lot here with you, with your perspective on life, and then also I'm seeing that your life is just meant to be fun. Six of cups, fun, success at the bottom, but it's in reverse. Let's see, future self, what are you trying to tell them? Your dreams and desires are the keys to your fulfillment. There you go. Every single thing that you desire is a clue to who you are in the life you're meant to live. So all of you guys who have vision boards, it's so interesting that we don't know this. The vision board, right? Just like you picked your deck, out of all of the images that you're gonna pick, there's certain images that light you up, that make you feel good when you see it. You take that picture, you clip it out. When you put this on your board and you take a step back, these are actually clues to what you're here to do. This is like a preview of your movie. Hey, you're gonna do this, you're gonna be a number one best-selling author, you're gonna be a number one hit songwriter, you're gonna be a movie creator, movie director, whatever it is that you're here to do and create. It's what you enjoy creating, that's for you. And I'm hearing no one can be you. You, no one can be you. Nobody on this planet can be you. That is literally the truth. So why are you looking at them when you should be looking at you? You're the one you should be studying. You're the one you should be obsessed with because you are one of the greatest creators of this time is what I'm hearing. Listen, take it or leave it based on your beliefs. This is who you are. This is the messages that I'm getting. I only got this card message for you. So if that's the case, that means that you're not, you're gonna be doing what the 1% are doing, what the champions are doing, what the entrepreneurs, the ones who are free are doing, all right? So you're meant to literally flourish through your creations. So let's see your dreams and your desires, they're literally clues to the preview of the movie that you're here to live. This is the easiest way to kind of dissect and conceptualize what this message is. This is a very deep message for not having so many cards out. Spirit, seven of fire. Okay, we have that in the first card as well in reverse. Defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So why choose to fight? 
Okay, this isn't about being right or wrong. This is about what is true. What are, what are you here to do? What excites you? Six of water, we have this twice here. Memories from history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. All right, so some of you, so what this is basically saying is like, you're living a movie, but you're, if you're constantly stuck in the past or something that happened in the past, taking your attention out of the present, it is like basically watching a movie that you know all the words to. You've seen it over and over and over again. You know exactly what's gonna happen next. And it's, yes, it's familiar, it's nostalgic. You love it, you grew up on this. And this is the way you've been thinking, honestly. So follow me here. And so what life is intended to be is like a movie of mystery filled with excitement, love at this corner, um, joy at this corner, abundance, overflow, crying with tears of joy. You have visions that you're here to do things. These visions are coming from a place. This is what I tell people all the time, even when they book readings. Who do you think I'm going to for the answers? You asking me the question, I'm asking them. At this point, I'm an adapter for the source of energy you're getting. And I'm telling you, you, you could just unplug me and plug right in directly to the all-knowing source who knows everything. It's crazy to me that people overlook this, right? So instead of just having your life on repeat because you're stuck in the past and you know what's going to happen and you have the control and it's comforting, be open to the, the life that you're here to live, which is a mystery. You're not, you're not supposed to know every word. That's the fun of it. It's a journey, right? And so not being afraid of the unknown is what I'm getting and trust your desires more than you do your thoughts. At least you can feel desire. That sh is burning, right? When your favorite car drives by, your favorite house, whatever it is, you feel it in your gut. It's like your spirit is like, yes, yes. That is the communication you should be following to receive everything you're imagining yourself in life to be. I don't know if I could have said that better. You have the power to transcend pain. So you, I definitely were picking up a healer and your family could definitely be pulling people, pulling on you. This is where self-love comes in. I love myself enough to know that this person just wants attention. They're not ready to change. They're not ready to be honest with themselves. You have to learn to understand everyone has their connection to source. But when you're adapt, an adapter to source, meaning you give the good advice, you're here, there, you're doing all this, you're trying to help this person then you're compromising yourself and everyone has connection to the universe and God, all right? The answers lie within your desires. Exactly, exactly what I just said. So your desires, right? This is something that literally will just drive you. It's something that once you go towards it, you can't stop it. It's like electricity, all right? So you should be going towards your desires. Anything else you want them to know before we move on? With what you want them to know that's happening in their life here. Lots of emotions are in the air. Okay, lots of emotions here. An illusion of being trapped. So you are not trapped. There's always a way. A lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So that's the self-confidence that you're gaining here with the queen of wands, the confidence to make the decision. A confidence is something you are gathering along your journey. It's like a tool. Okay, confidence, you know, card one got bravery, courage. So you are actually breaking free. The queen or the eight, of air, eight of swords is about breaking free in your mind, okay? In your mind, knowing, hey, there's a version of me that's healed. I wanna connect with that version of myself. There's a version of me that's wealthy. I wanna connect with that version. There's a version of me in love and open to receiving unconditional love without having to save anybody, just because it's unconditional. Yes, card two, this is coming for you. All right, so this is what I'm getting messages from the universe. I'm hoping that this brought you some clarity. If anything, trust more in the higher source that's guiding you and in, in feeling that communication. If you guys are looking for those rare readings, definitely check out the tarotchest.com or obviously you guys can see the banner down below or the description. I'm moving on to card three. All right, guys, I'm out. Moving on to card three. Card three. All right, let's see what the universe wants you to know and why you're here. I'm going to first start with just some tarot cards to see where your energy is currently. And then I'm going to see what is the universe trying to tell you? What do you think the universe is trying to tell you? Okay. Card three, if you were drawn to this card, card three, universe, what are you trying to tell them? Okay. 
Thank you. Page of Cups. Four of Pentacles. It's like I'm hearing patience slow down. You don't have to have it all at once. All right? Everything, if it all came at once, trust me, you would be very, very overwhelmed. You have an offer, an opportunity that's coming in here that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy here. Spirit is saying, do not worry about money. Do not worry about finances. Always be in the flow of giving um, because your abundant self, the one who's wealthy, would do that. So you should always choose to be that version of you so that eventually your reality will start to reflect that, right? So I'm hearing like, you know, give big tips, really expand yourself to give, okay? With the four of pentacles, we have greed here, which usually means like being frugal or holding on or being afraid to let go of something. I'm hearing that there's going to be a need to open up here. Why is the four of pentacles here? All right, we've had this now come out in every every card now, and it keeps slick, keeps finding its way back in there. All right, so we have the three of cups. We have a celebration, something that's going to actually work out for you financially. I'm hearing some type of financial offer is getting ready to work out very well in your favor. Okay, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. May, it, it should make you feel like a kid again is what I'm getting with the sun card. There's a lot of child energy. Some of you very few of you could be finding out someone's pregnant there could be a baby around um lots of children in your energy i feel like if not then i sense that this is something that the universe is trying to say to welcome in um that energy of just freedom flow when you didn't care what was going to happen when you didn't know the past and the future existed when you were just simply here in the present okay there's something about spirit wanting to raise your vibration and keeping you at a space of joy okay um no matter what goes on in your life so let's see why is the page of cups here for card three seven of earth we have patience once again i, I was saying that earlier seeds well planted a temporary pause in action unnecessary worthy worry so again if you're wondering where is everything at when is it going to come in what I'm really picking up is that you would have to be comfortable first with what you're asking for. Are you comfortable with being paid a lot of money to do something that you really feel like is fun? For some reason, you may be struggling to embrace this childlike version of you because you think it's un whether it's unproductive, lazy, I don't know where this is coming from. Let's get some information. Let's get some information, card three. There's something about celebration, celebrating your innocence as a child when you were free, okay? Connecting with that version of you. Let's see, what are you trying to say to them about the childhood? Thank you. All right, hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or a memory in the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. So you could have been drawn to card number one. I was saying a lot about this as well. And then we have inspiration. Be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she will call at any time. This inspiration, spirit is saying, seeing the universe as a playground, you've come to explore, which is why you love to travel, okay? Love to explore, love to connect, all right, something's going to be revealed here. And, and what I'm seeing, let's see what that's about, hidden depths. I'm hearing also it's not for you to figure out, okay? Not for you to figure out. Yeah, there's something here that's going to be revealed, Ace of Cups. It feels like a new, a new, it could be a new partnership, all right? There's more that spirit is trying to show you here that maybe you're not able to see when it comes to your finances and it, when it comes to why you feel like you're being patient. And once again, it's not the universe that you're being patient with. It's you. It's you when you're ready to let go, when you're ready to let go of old ways of thinking to expand into a, um, a renewed, evolved way of thinking. Okay, you're expanding is what I'm seeing here. There's a lot of childlike energy, and I'm also feeling like it is actually connected to your purpose. What you naturally love to do with ease that you're excited about is actually a part of the seeds that are being and have been planted your entire life. This 
a temporary pause in action is for you to take a step back and see what is the universe trying to show me? Okay, what is, and that's why you're here. What is the universe trying to show me? Let's ask. Just like I asked, Spirit saying you can ask too. Look at all the green. This is a lot of Capricorn, Virgo, uh, Taurus energy, a lot of focusing on your finances, focusing on career. You could be at a crossroads with career. Either way, I'm seeing there's an opportunity here that's going to balance things off. You have a gift. Like I said earlier, here's a confirmation. I just said that gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. So connecting to the abundant version of you, this is all about career is what I'm getting career, your resources, you're meant to experience a having more than enough when it comes to finances and resources. Spirit is trying to balance this out by giving you ideas and somehow this version of you when you were excited doing what you love to do, we're doing it the most when you were a child. So you could be getting some of those beliefs. Traveling is really big here. So I see that some of you may have a desire to travel, but you feel like once again, the conditions. So you're meant to manifest these travel dreams and have fun with this. It's not meant to be serious when you're manifesting. You're getting prepared to receive more. Now, some of you may be like, I've been open to receiving. If you're only focused or open to receiving through one outlet of income, one source, that's not open. When you are completely open, you might find money and resources on the ground. You might accidentally get a letter of an offer that ends up being an event that you go to and get an opportunity. This is how the universe is going to communicate with you. It's not going to be through logic. It's not going to be like, oh, this is a great plan. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Logically, that was your plan and you can do that. You can absolutely do that plan, which is what you have been doing. And so what Spirit is saying now is that there's more for you to uncover and your plan is great, but with the universe, there's abundance. There's allowing yourself to be led to receiving more, for it to be balanced so that you're free. Freedom is just as important as finances. If not, that's the point of the finances, right? For you to be free. So it says a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So you are breaking these cycles here and have already broken the cycle. And now you're just walking in it. We have at the bottom too much work, accept help from others. Life is out of balance, stress related health concerns, burnout. That's what I was getting in card one as well. And so if that's the case, that means that somewhere in your mind, you feel like what is meant for you isn't going to happen unless you do it, unless you make it happen. And this puts a lot of stress and ease because you're not meant to make such big dreams happen by yourself. The universe literally has given you these dreams and desires. Where do you think they're coming from? When you are shopping for a t-shirt, when you scroll, there's a bunch of shirts you're going to pass because what you're going to choose the one that you like and like love is a feeling you get first of oh, that one just like when you pick a card right but all of those shirts that you scrolled by those are actually some of people's deepest desires and here you are just scrolling by so this goes to show that there's plenty for everyone all right so getting rid of this scarcity mindset even with the four of pentacles here scarcity there's plenty for everyone and only this path can be paved by you. It's perfectly meant for you to walk in abundance when it comes to balance. Six of earth, so three and three, there's a balance practically. So it's going to take patience on your behalf to allow this life to be revealed to you. And you will notice that you will start making decisions from a place of abundance and not lack or poverty and understanding that, hey, I'm abundant because I'm connected to the most abundant source that has created all the planets and all of the galaxies and all of the nebulas and the Milky Way. You're connected to this. This is what I'm connected to right now to even connect with you as if I know you. I've never met you before. How do I have access to this information? The universe, you also have access to this information. Universe, what do you want them to know if they're here? Imagine yourself exploring three new places. Literally, you're here to explore. I've said explore, traveling. I did not even say that. I don't feel in the other two cards. A kid is like, 
I want to see new things. I want to see this. I want to look over there. I want to look over there. That's the childlike version of you. That's actually because you're an explorer. Think about it. It's like the universe is literally telling you who you are. You're travel, exploring, seeing this, seeing this. Yes, this is who you are. So you don't have to try to be this. You already are this. So imagine yourself now just exploring three new places and let the universe show up. But you still have to be in the vibration that you know it's going to be showed up. You can't just be like, okay, is it coming? Is it coming? You should know it's coming. Because if you're questioning if it's coming, you're giving off the signal to the universe that the universe is like, and you're like, <laughs> waiting is creating. It's waiting is a choice. That is a reality, right? So you feel like you're waiting, but it's, you're waiting for you. You're waiting for you to say, okay, I'm going to free up my time and create more. I'm going to free up my time and do more that I, more of what I love. I'm going to free up my time and imagine more for myself so I can see where is the universe taking me? Through your imagination, you can see. People say it's the unknown. You can't see physically. No, but internally, you have an entire compass communicating with you, which is the universe. Through your imagination, you're being showed your destinations. And how do you know? You don't have to depend on me, any tarot reader, or any book to ever tell you. You can feel it. You can feel it because your desires will light you up and inspire you. And that's how you know, yes, this is what I'm meant to do. So why go chase what you're meant to do? Let it come to you. It's like, you know, when you get a delivery, but you left to the Amazon and then they're like, oh, we let, he left already. You just missed him. Well, if you would have just stayed at home, you would have got to the delivery sooner. Okay. So I'm just seeing car three. There might, you know what I'm saying? The universe is like, listen, let me in a little bit. Okay. And help even with your finances. Cause you, you have all of these plans and I'm just sensing once again, what is this for? What is this all for? You have to really ask yourself, you know, if you're here, it's going to be a deep reading. If you're here on this channel, it's going to be a deep reading. This is going to be just telling your future. Oh yeah, you have a business opportunity coming in. No, I'm going to tell you, you know why? Look at the card. I'm communicating with you through signs and numbers. This is like, this is real. This is real. Everybody, <laughs> the universe communicates through signs, numbers, people. Okay. Even if you take a look around right now, I just also released a video on the tarotchest.com. Take a look at that video. But in that video, I was talking about if you just look around and you see words and you see numbers, just see what you see around you. Just write them down. First three that you see physically and look it up after this and tell me that is not crazy, that it's exactly what you need to hear. But what am I? I'm the guide leading you there. And I'm telling you, you have the same connection with the universe. Okay. As I do. So let's see what else. We have, you were meant to shine at the bottom of the deck. You were meant to shine. Do you think I've seen that by coincidence? No, nothing is by coincidence. This is the first step to true spirituality is understanding nothing is by coincidence, nothing. And that's when it becomes fun. This is meant to be fun, adventurous. You're meant to have more than enough. I can tell you you're abundant because I can see you want to travel the whole world. So you, you must be abundant. These are clues. These are clues. Your desires are just clues to who you truly are. And I, I just said, I, I released a video. Who am I meant to be in this lifetime? Check that out on the tarotchest.com. That is going to uncover even more. We have temptation. Are you in denial about a health, unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. The fairy comes to you to have the power to overcome temptation, whatever your guise is. So temptation, what is this temptation? Okay. Protect your dreams. Let's see. What is this temptation? two of pentacles all right it could be working it could be something i think i said that earlier something that whatever you're putting in your body whatever that is once again focus on how you feel if you feel guilty you really have to ask yourself why do i feel guilty what is wrong about this take a step back and ask yourself and once again the truth is going to clear up any of that whatever this is okay Temptation, whatever makes you feel good is God communi communicating with you. You are meant to feel good. You are not meant to only feel good one way. Okay, there, there's a lot of pleasure that's coming to you. Okay, I'm also getting um, card three, like a lot of ways of joy and stimulation. Understanding that pleasure created a child. 
created a whole human being through two people having pleasure created an entire human being so pleasure has to be very important to your sacral chakra which is your creative chakra here okay so i'm definitely feeling like that's something that's coming up here you could have been drawn to card two as well i'm just sensing your creations are meant to bring you a lot of financial freedom okay and these creations are not coming from your thoughts you're channeling them and you channel the best when you're having fun when you're inspired when you're excited four of cups dissatisfaction nine of cups you have something coming in here so anything that's happening right now spirit is saying it's very temporary and i'm actually here to communicate with you to lead you out of some of these places you are closing really really tough challenging cycles energetically is what i'm hearing you're walking into more peace more ease more joy more fulfillment and the universe is actually guiding you on your side to a wish come true here this could be a person place or thing but as you can see here take it how it resonates i do see a person here with the nine of cups of wish come true but if you're in this energy of disappointment or waiting or just like, you know, not in the best energy, then you will miss this opportunity. So all you have to do is be in a good place, feeling good vibrationally. And it might require you to, Virgo is here too, might require you to get into a space of hermit, disconnecting from people and getting back to yourself of what you truly desire and connecting with you. Like I said, you are the one you should be studying. Okay, you are the one that you should be obsessed and connected to. Who are you? You're in this. This is yourself. Who is yourself? Get to know yourself is what I'm getting. All right, before I get too deep, if you guys definitely want to check out a mentorship, you, you can find that down below in the description box. In the meantime, if you're looking for readings or anything else that I have going on, check out the tarotchest.com and then also check out the description box. Have some really cool things coming on and I'm really, really excited to see where the universe is taking me. And yeah, I'll see you guys very soon in the next pick a card reading. I'm out.